something happened in the last week to do <gasps> with space. No way. Yeah, someone someone took a photo. Oh, yeah. Did, yeah. Have you seen the photo? Yeah. So this is a photo of the supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A star, that's in the center of our Milky Way galaxy. What we're orbiting around. Everything in our galaxy. What, really? We have going around it. Whoa. Like a little spinny. That's mad. Like a, like a drain emptying. Mm, that's not how black holes work, though. No, because we're orbiting. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. We're not sinking into it, necessarily. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. No, no, probably not ever. Surely. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> so, carry, carry on, carry so, on. This picture was taken by the Event Horizon Telescope, or known as the EHT, uh, which is a network of multiple observatories around the planet, which synchronized act as like one single telescope. Now, why do you think that might be? Might be more useful than a than a singular observatory. Um, I remember seeing about this. It's like it's like you get to simulate having a really big sensor if mm. you look from several different um oh, telescopes mm -hmm. interesting it is like having a really big sensor and it also accounts for uh what well, you can do long-term observations that account for the rotating earth mm. um so you, something might rotate out of view by the time right i see by the time you know you have a full data set completed mm -hmm. or whatever so we can keep track of things like these black holes for a very long time sometimes several days while they you know spin around us do their black hole thing do their little black hole. well we're spinning yeah we're but spinning around them view, it's going around and they could also be spinning themselves can't they, they? Are, well they are spinning oh yeah I'm they are sure. yeah. yeah yeah they're spinning very quickly <laughs> jeez i feel like you think of a black hole as moving slowly right because it's big and big means slow mm. i don't think of i think of a black hole as really Still. being a thing that mm. can spin right yeah yeah it feels like yeah, a hole like in a space yeah. time yeah <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Imagine you puncture a hole in a piece of paper, but the hole starts spinning. Does that make sense? <laughs> <laughs> <doesn't work>. What? <laughs> Stop it. One thing I find really interesting about black holes, though, is there's this kind of idea that's been that is sort of floated around, wherein black holes suck in. You know, like some people ask the question, and like not to not to make fun of these people, it makes absolute sense based on you know the pop culture around black holes. People ask yeah. the question: What happens if it, what would happen if the sun was replaced with a black hole? Of equal, like you know, the same size as the equal, equal mass of the sun. Nothing. 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 We would just we would freeze. Still go, well, yeah, we would freeze to death. Yeah, we'd freeze. We'd still go around it. Yeah, we'd be, yeah. we'd be, we'd be happily going around that because mm. the mass is Very the same. Very unhappily going around it, I think. <laughs> but I honestly I hate all back. life on Earth, and I would no. There would be some life on Earth still probably living. Um, yeah. yeah. The hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. yeah. For a bit, but yeah, no, I mean. Wow, weird. Yeah, that's very weird, right? Yeah. But yeah, no, a, a, like a black hole is just. A lot of mass con mm. concentrated in a small area. So yeah. if you're close enough to it, it'll start pulling you in. In the same sense that if you're close enough to anything, it'll start yeah, the Earth pulling will suck you, you in. into the Earth. Yeah, and the Earth's math, sucking you in right now. <laughs> the math of gravity means that all of the mass of the sun acts as if it is at a concentrated point anyway. Yeah. So as long as the amount of mass stays the same, you're good. Yeah. You're, you're cold, but you're good. Yeah. Mm. You're just a little bit chilly. Put yeah. on a jacket. You're fine. Mm. <laughs> exactly. So how do you think we produced this image? Not like. In terms of what did we measure? What did we try and... The Hawking radiation? Mm. Less cool than that. It's kind of just the hot plasma that's orbiting around. Oh, oh. okay. Oh, the... What's it called? The... the Not the ionization ring. It's um, the... Between... Oh, the accretion disc. Accretion disc, yeah. Accretion. That's Ooh. it, yeah. So it's the accretion disc where all the hot plasma like spins around. Yeah. Um, and it's not usually visible to the, to the eye from this distance, at least. I think if you were close to it, it would probably glow. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, we basically look uh, we look at the black hole with the EHT for, I think, several days, mm. and we're able to produce images like this. That's so really interesting. Cool. It's mad that the most, the best image, or the best simulation we have of a black hole mm. is because Christopher Nolan decided to make a film about them. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the stellar. best simulation? It's good. It's to a very good standard. I didn't I think know. It's, it was the I think it's. I I have heard that it was the the best. Wow. It's as accurate as we currently can simulate. Well, it, to be fair, let's be let's be realistic here. It makes absolute sense that that would be the best because Chris Nolan has mad movie money. <laughs> like, think about the money that goes into just a Marvel movie for the special yeah. effects. Like, mad money. Yeah. So Chris Nolan is like, okay, I'm gonna save a little bit of budget by. I was shooting with Timothy Chalamet and some and some <laughs> other people just in some dusty I somewhere Timothy in Earth. Chalamet's in that movie. I only remember it because he talks about it like in interviews. <laughs> <laughs> because I've heard the story of him crying multiple times because he he's not in the film very much. No, he's not in the film so, very much. Um, no, no, no. He, it's, he, it's not that bad. I honestly didn't know Timothy Chalamet was in Insta. Yeah, he's he is one of the he's the kid 
but he's obviously one, the kid grows up. He's one of the kids of the main character. No way. Yeah. Not the girl. So he's only there for a little uh, bit. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Kid so, actor. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's good at acting. But the yeah. point is that um, ultimately, uh, because there's so much money behind Interstellar, yeah. they could just funnel way more money into producing this. Because why would, where would scientists get the funding to produce a really, 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 really like IMAX standard mm. <laughs> black hole model? Yeah. yeah, you know why? Where would they get the money? I think he, they worked with scientists, and that's how they got it. So it's not like he just got some special effects artists to make it. I think that's how they—that's the story that I've heard. Though I've not looked too deeply into it, but it's very interesting. I, think. I went and saw uh, Brian Cox on tour at the O2 when he was talking about his space things, and uh, he was—he uh, showed a simulation of the black of a black hole mm-hmm. using the same technology as they used in Interstellar. Oh, that's and mad. it was very big. That's mad. Yeah, it's really cool. As that's well. so cool. That's so cool. So obviously, black holes don't emit any light, so we have to measure. That kind of the things around the black hole mm. to be able to see the silhouette, which we can obviously see. In. It's a bit blurry, but you can see the the black center looks a bit like a donut. They forgot to focus it. Yeah, but this is my question though. This doesn't make sense to me. I think maybe it's just the angle of it, but this doesn't make sense to me on how black holes work because this looks two D. It does look two D, doesn't it? So I feel it like be, in typical simulations, is usually the accretion disk is like kind of like satin that has a ring around. But as it disappears behind the black hole, the light bends. Ah, it bends over the top. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's the usual models where it, it, it like you look at it from and from every direction, it kind of looks yeah, from kind every, of the same. Yeah, weird. Where you, you, it, yeah, that, you're spot on yeah. there with the description. That's a really good way of doing it. Yeah, it's like it's like it, yeah, it's literally like Saturn rings have just been bent. But yeah, upwards. as it disappears behind, obviously the light gets bent around, so it's, it comes at the top of the bottom. Obviously. Yeah, it's yeah. really weird. And this this is really weird to me because it just looks like a two D. It looks like you're looking at it from the top yeah. or something, you know, or from the side. I mean, the thing to remember is that this isn't technically a real photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just the data pulled that's then interpreted by a supercomputer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. To create this image. Um, so we haven't taken a real photo technically yet, but we produced this photo from mm. the data taken I, from the AHT. I just find that it's, it's interesting because, again, th- they've pulled this, but it looks like a black hole. It feels like a very 2D thing, right? Because mm. it's, it's a hole. Yes. Holes are generally if if you in have a hole in a surface day-to-day experience yeah yeah a, a holes in a, in, in a sort of in a surface yeah. are usually a, a hole is like a a, a 2d set uh, sort of uh thing cut out from it yeah and then you've got the three-dimensional thing in it but when you've got a a, a hole in three-dimensional space mm. just the fabric of the universe like i can't wrap my head around it yeah it doesn't work yeah no it doesn't doesn't seem like it will work no nah, nah, no i can't picture it it's like a three-dimensional it's hole. The simulation is what Brian Cox's show. Ugh. Kind of managed to visualize it in a way that made sense, but it didn't. When you try and think about it afterwards, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's just... um, can anyone tell me why this image might look familiar? Is this not the same one that they had? Uh, same, the same as the one they had, like, God, over a year ago? It was three years ago. In 2019, uh, the EHT, or the people who work at the EHT, mm-hmm. released a photo of another super black, supermassive black hole from another galaxy. Mm-hmm. It was the uh, M87 galaxy, and their supermassive black hole is called M87 star. And we have them side by side, the two pictures. They look <coughs> they look quite similar. Wow, they? they do look very similar. What I want to know is SGRA star is a lot closer, but the picture's not any better. It's not any better. But how much um, closer how much closer is it? Like so our, percentage-wise. So well, Sagittar- a Sagittarius A star is yeah, but my, my so my question is, it's, yeah. it's more, it's a lot closer because yeah. it's a galaxy, but yeah. also that's really far away. Yeah. So if if something was a hundred kilometers away, right, and okay. something else was a hundred and ten kilometers okay. away, so it doesn't scale logarithmically. It, yeah, mm. I, I, it'd be like, well, there's only ten kilometers difference between them, even though one of them is quite a bit closer, or maybe it, mm. I, I don't know. That's 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 what I'm. That's why I'm asking. Like, what is the percentage? Oh, I, I think it will be quite <clears throat> a lot because it's the it's the distance to the center of our galaxy rather than the distance of Oh, I the suppose. distance between galaxies yeah. is quite large. Like the yeah. galaxies are far away from each other. I mean, maybe it just degrades to a certain point where. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? So the weird thing is, the M87 star, supermassive black hole, the one that came out three years ago, is 56 million light years away, and our supermassive black hole is only 25 million. So sorry, only 25,000. Right. Well, okay. Light years away. Whoa, yeah. that's way so, closer. Yeah, way, way, way closer. But it took three more years to produce. That photo, despite the fact that both uh, both data sets were taken at around the same time in 2017. Oh, is there more? Is there more noise because we've got to look through our galaxy? Basically, yeah. Uh, firstly, 
the one that's very far away is a thousand times bigger than our supermassive black hole. Ah, oh, that oh, we got a crappy so that, supermassive black hole. So that Super. does help a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, with ours, with Sagittarius A star, we have to look past all of the like stars, all of all of the light emitted by stars and dust and gas in our solar system <sighs> that's quite close to us. Yeah, and so it's hard to differentiate what we're looking at. Just got Jupiter with popping the, in the middle the of it. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, get out of the so way. Like, Photo bombing. Stars, <laughs> gas. <and hell. laughs> Yeah, no, it looks really, it looks really, really good. I mean, I love, I love these images of black holes. They're just very, it's cool to actually finally see something like that. Yeah. It's very odd to me that kids nowadays have been taught that Pluto is not a planet, have been taught dinosaurs have feathers, have grown up in a world where, like, oh, I learned about black holes and then I got an image of one a few years after I learned about one. Mm. I've spent my whole life hearing about black holes and how we know almost nothing about them. And over the course of my life, it's gone from, uh, mm. to, here's a picture. Hey, well, not two, a picture, but you know, two pictures. It's two pics. Yeah, it's we made, kind, we made it's two kind pictures. of what it looks like. And also, you know, like it was seeing it was seeing such an incredible rendition of a black hole. Yeah. In 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 a film that's just this is this like scientists are like oh yeah this is what it looks like yeah it's mad yeah like the 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 amount that things have changed in the past I don't know, let's say twenty years of my life is just it's incredible mm. and kids nowadays like younger people nowadays don't necessarily have that experience of the past 20 years yeah. just everything rapidly changing it's yeah. mad so there is another reason why it took us longer to develop uh, the sagittarius a star photo which is close to us there's one final reason and it's to do with the speed of the spin of oh. the black hole so we are measuring the hot plasma of that that is uh, orbiting the black hole with m87 uh, it takes several weeks for the hot plasma to do a full orbit, whereas with Sagittarius A star, the hot the hot plasma does an orbit within a few minutes, so it's significantly faster. Meaning that, uh, so one of the researchers at the uh, EHT, one of the EHT observatories, uh, Chi Quan Chan, describes it as trying to take a clear picture of a puppy quickly chasing its tail. <laughs> it turns out, despite it being out of focus, it looks even blurrier and less yeah. comprehensible. <laughs> um, so yeah, they, they took extra time. And they managed to produce that photo. So Fabi actually just sent something into us, which is really interesting. Uh, mm. So this is so the source here is from Veritasium, who we we all love Veritasium, don't we? Yeah. We oh love, yeah. None of us have any problems with Veritasium whatsoever. Um, <laughs> 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 so I don't know what the beef is, but okay. Oh, we were speaking about this the other day. I think in a bonus episode. Ah. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I, I don't think, retain anything. That's fine. So. <laughs> Um, this is, uh, so Fabi has pointed out that the reason that they look uh, so similar in size is because one of them is obviously much bigger, M87 is a lot bigger, M87 yes. star is a lot bigger, but it's also quite quite a bit farther away. Yeah. So this would be, what we're seeing here is the sort of angular uh, size of them as seen from Earth. So mm. they're roughly the same size. It's, it's similar to how, you know, the sun and the moon can look similar sizes yeah. because of, obviously because of the sort of glare of the sun yeah. making it look bigger. And the moon just being the size that it is. Yeah. But obviously, when you when you use like um, what they called like a, you, like I guess you could use like an ND filter or something and hold mm. it up to the sun, you see that it's this tiny little this point tiny in the little side. Thing in the distance. Mm. But yeah, no. So that would be why they um. Yeah, that's why they yeah. kind of look similar sizes, and we can we can measure them both. And these are, to our knowledge, the only two supermassive black holes that we can measure currently with the EHT. Oh wow. Um, others are either like too small or too far away. <laughs> Um, so yeah, these are the only two that we can currently measure. So we or take photos of. put so much money into all of this, yeah. and there's two that we can and measure. There's, and there's two. To our knowledge, we can find more. That feels a little bit silly. <laughs> 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 it's two. There's two that we can measure, and it's taken us three years. Yeah, to get. Yeah. But it's about like the 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 stuff that happens inside of black holes. It's like. The breakdown of mm. physics as we know it. So, like, that's the stuff we're trying to study, and and it's kind of similar to, it's similar to the kind of physics that happens at, at the Big Bang mm. when you get that small. I don't know whether we're actually be able to glean any information mm. from observing black holes about that. But this is the yeah. issue though with black holes, isn't it? That getting any information from the outside yeah. of black hole is, is tough. It sucks. We just need to send someone in eventually. I, I mean, mm. where they die. I mean, like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. yeah. I just th this is what <laughs> frustrates me about a black hole because it is just this just this One complete void yeah. of knowledge mm. and i very much i'm very much that woman from indiana jones the bad indiana jones where she just wants knowledge uh, 
<laughs> she just wants knowledge. You know, she has her hands over her eyes and then bah, burns through. That's me. <laughs> I want all the knowledge in the yeah. world. The fact that black holes are sitting there, like, hiding it away. You. You're beefing. Man, Literally I'm mad at inaccessible. them. Inaccessible. Yeah, yeah. That winds me up, honestly, yeah. to no end. Yeah. I think about it. I genuinely, it keeps me up at night sometimes. I'm, I'm not even joking. Yeah. I genuinely get frustrated that you can't figure out what I'll is beyond the event horizon of a black hole. Yeah. So, where do we go from here? Since these uh, data sets were taken in 2017, we, oh, I say we, they have added three extra observatories with telescopes to the, as part of the EHT, um, which can, uh, you know, theoretically produce sharper images in the future. And in fact, in March of this year, they took some more photos or took some more data sets rather. So we can look forward to that in the next few years. We might get some clearer photos of these black holes coming out. Mm. Awesome. Um, yeah, and that's my story. Very, very cool. Lots nice. To look forward to. A little round of applause. Mm. Good little story there. Oh, on the if you enjoyed that clip, head over to patreon.com forward slash SciGuys where you can find the full show. Or you can stay here and catch up on old SciGuys episodes. Or you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at SciGuysPod to find out when we're doing more live shows.